Are you engaged in an epic battle to try to learn to add and subtract integers? Well, we're bringing in the reinforcements next on The Land of Math. Hi, this is Todd with The Land of Math. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to add and subtract integers. And we've brought in to help us the legendary toy army soldier guys including the tan army soldier guys and of course the iconic green army soldier guys helping us out now we've brought all your favorites of course the guy crawling on the ground the minesweeper guy and of course the guy with the machine gun and the grenade for this video the green army soldier guys are going to represent a positive one and each tan soldier guy will represent a negative one when we add a positive one and a negative one, we get zero. Anytime you add opposite numbers, you always get zero. Operation is really more of like having reinforcements in an actual battle. We're gonna have a positive plus a positive, which we equal a positive. So in this example, we start with positive five. You can see the five soldiers here. And we're gonna add three positive guys to this group. So when we do that, we end up with a positive eight. Our next situation is like the first. This is a negative plus a negative, and it's going to equal a negative. So for example, we have a negative four, and we're going to add three negatives to this. And what we have now is a total of negative seven army soldiers. Here are a couple of examples of a positive plus positive. You can see in both of these, when we add two positives, we end up with a positive answer. It's kind of like if we're reinforcing our troops here, adding positives and positives together. The next is an example of negative plus negative. In both of these examples, you can see when we add two negatives, we get a negative answer. Adding integers becomes a bit trickier when we add a positive and a negative together. I think of it like a battle. And you look at which side has the advantage. Whichever side has the advantage, that's the sign it's going to be. So for example, in this one right here, we have two negative soldiers and three positive soldiers. So negative two plus positive three. Because the positives have a one man advantage, the answer is a positive one. In our next battle, we have a positive five plus a negative three. Because we have two more soldiers there on the positive side, the answer is going to be positive. In this case, it's a positive two. Sometimes the negative soldiers are going to have the advantage. So in our next battle, we have a positive 2, but a negative 6. There's more negative soldiers, so the answer is going to be negative. And the difference is 4. There's 4 more negative soldiers. The answer is negative 4. The next problem, we have positive 3 plus negative 5. So we have 2 more negative soldiers, so the answer in this problem is a negative 2. The rules for adding integers are pretty straightforward. If the signs are the same, just keep the sign and add the numbers. If the signs are different, you take the sign that you have the most of, and you find the difference in the amounts of positive and negatives, and you combine those two together. What's really going on here is we're taking the sign of the largest absolute value. Once we do that, which in this case is a negative, we subtract the two absolute values, which we get a 1. So we combine those together to get a negative 1. When subtracting integers, it's important to remember our rules for addition, because we're going to use that a lot when we model. But our first one is pretty straightforward. A positive minus a positive is going to equal a positive. This is kind of like back in elementary school. For example, positive 5 minus a positive 2 is just going to be a positive 3. And it's easy to see with our soldiers, we just took 2 away. In this next situation, it's a little bit more challenging. We have a positive minus positive but it's going to equal a negative. So what we have to think of is like a battle scene. We have six green soldiers coming up here, and we have four tan soldiers. So right now the green have an advantage of two, or a positive two. But we're going to take away three of the green soldiers. So we have a positive two advantage. We're taking away positive three, or three of the green soldiers. And now you can see that the tan soldiers have the advantage by one. So two minus three is a negative one. It's important to notice that the tan soldiers could just got reinforcements. For example, if they would have received three more soldiers, in this case, if we would have added negative three, 
they would have the exact same advantage of a negative 1. So if we add negative 3, it's the exact same as subtracting a positive 3. The result's the same. It's a negative 1. Here's another example of a positive minus a positive with a negative answer. We're going to start with a positive 3 situation. There's 7 green soldiers and 4 tan, so the green have the advantage by 3. But we're going to take away 5 of the positive soldiers, maybe to go fight somewhere else. When we do this, now the tan has the advantage by 2 or a negative 2. Here's the same battle scene with 7 green soldiers and the 4 tan. But instead of 5 soldiers leaving, we could have reinforced the tan soldiers with 5 more soldiers. When we give them 5 more soldiers, the result's the same. They've got two more soldiers. So the important takeaway here is this. <coughs> if we add a negative five soldiers, it's the exact same as taking away positive five. The result the same, negative two. In this next battle, we have positive minus negative, but it's going to give us a positive answer. So that might be kind of hard to understand. So if we look at our next situation here, we have green, we have six green soldiers, four tan. That's an advantage of two for the green or positive two. If we take away these three tan soldiers, we now have an advantage of five for the green soldiers. Now, we could actually do this as well. If we just given the green reinforcements, if we gave them three more soldiers, the advantage for the green would have been the exact same. They'd have an advantage of five soldiers. So, when we add a positive three, it's the exact same thing as taking away three negatives. The result, in this case, positive five. In this example, we have seven green soldiers and three tan. So right now, that's an advantage of four for the green soldiers or a positive four. If we take away two of the negatives, that gives the green soldiers a six soldier advantage or a positive six. If we return back to our original battlefield of seven green and three tan soldiers, what we could have done is given the green side two more soldiers and a positive four plus positive two would be positive six. The key thing here to note is when we added two green soldiers and when we took away two negative soldiers, we got the same result, a positive six. In this next battle, we have a negative minus a negative and we're going to get a negative answer. So if we look at our battle, we have five tan soldiers and two green. That's an advantage of three tan soldiers or three negatives. So we have a negative three and we're going to take away two of these tan soldiers. That's going to leave the tan soldiers with an advantage of one or a negative one. If we look at the original battle with five tan soldiers and two green soldiers, this will represent a negative three. If we add two positives to this, we get the exact same answer of a negative one. So when we add a positive two, it's the exact same thing as subtracting a negative two. In this next example, we have six tan soldiers and one green. So there's five more tan soldiers or a negative five. We take away four of the tan soldiers and that leaves us with one more tan soldier or a negative one. Now, we could also have just added four green soldiers. And so if we added a positive four, the answer is the exact same. The tan soldiers would have an advantage of one or a negative one. So the key here to remember is if we add a positive four or if we subtract a negative four, the answer is the same, negative one. In this next example, we're subtracting two negatives and getting a positive. Now this can be confusing for a lot of kids, so let's look at our model. We have four green soldiers here and five tan, so right now it's a negative one. There's an advantage for the tan by one. We're gonna take away three of the tan soldiers, so we're subtracting a negative three. When we do that, we end up with two more green soldiers or a positive two. Now, if we had the exact same situation, but we added three green soldiers, the same thing's going to happen. We're going to have an advantage of two green soldiers. So anytime when you're adding, like in this example, if you add a positive three or if you subtract a negative three, you get the same answer. In this case, it's a positive two. Here's another example. We have four green soldiers and we have seven tan. We're going to take away five of the tan soldiers or subtracting a negative five. When we do that, we have a positive two. So we have two more green soldiers. Now what we could do is just add 5 to the green side and that would give us the same advantage of a positive 2. Now, 
So the rule here basically is if we add a positive 5 or take away a negative 5, the result's the same, positive 2. In our final example, we're going to take a negative minus a positive and get a negative. So in this one, we're going to model 5 tan soldiers and 2 green soldiers. So this would equal a negative 3. And we're going to take away one of the positives. And this is going to leave us with a negative 4. Now, we can also just add a negative 1. And if we add a negative 1, that would give us an advantage of 4 tan soldiers or a negative 4. So if we add a positive 1, it's just like subtracting a negative 1. In, in this next example, we have 9 tan soldiers and 5 green soldiers, so that's a negative 4. And we're going to take away a positive 3. When we do that, we find out we have 7 more tan soldiers. The same thing would happen if we just added 3 more tan soldiers. We end up with 7 more tan soldiers. So when we're adding a negative 3, or if we're subtracting a positive 3, the result's the same, a negative 7. Now let's look at some rules for subtracting integers. And basically, it's just change subtraction problems to addition. Just add the opposite of what you were subtracting. Just follow the rules for addition then. So for example, 2 minus 3 is the same as 2 plus a negative 3. 7 minus a negative 10 is just like 7 plus a positive 10. Negative 4 minus a negative 2 is the same thing as negative 4 plus positive 2. A negative 1 minus a negative 8 is just like negative 1 plus a positive 8. Negative 6 minus 2 is the same as negative 6 plus a negative 2. And finally, negative 3 minus a positive 1 is just like negative 3 plus a negative 1. So on behalf of the Tan Army Soldiers and the Green Army Soldiers, we hope this was helpful. Give us a, a thumbs up if you like it. And you can check us out on landofmath.com. You can check us out on Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest at Land of Math. Thank you very much. <music>